Hi, my name's John. Welcome to a short video in what's going to be a series of videos all about this RTEC 261 ACDC inverter welder. I'm not going to be sitting at a bench wearing some nice clean coupons. I've got a dirty aluminium casting to repair. I'm going to show you how to prepare it, how I set the welder up and try and get some actual shots of it being welded through the screen so to speak. Not to show you how to weld, just to show you how to try and get the best out of the machine. So what you're going to be getting here is real world welding, what it's actually like. It's not all clean, pretty and shiny. It is often covered in paint, oil, dirty crap, and that's the sort of thing we'll have to repair. I've got an aluminium casting to repair. It's of an old English machine of some sort. So hopefully it'll be a decent grade of aluminium. But looking at the end of there, it looks like crystalline shite. It's hard to tell, so you start to weld it. The first thing I'm going to do is clean this up. I'm going to use a wire wheel to clean it up and then I'll clamp it together and put a couple of good tacks onto it and then I'll use a carbide cutter, probably a ball one, and just veer it right out so I can get some penetration. It's no good just trying to stick it together. This wheel's definitely seen better days. It has done a lot of work. We don't want to damage the face where it's all where it's snapped because that's what's going to hold it all in line. And once we get two good tacks on, well obviously we can we can attack it then with a cutter. I've got it fit together quite nicely, you can see how the crack lines up and sort of holds itself together. I admit mean, I've welded better, but I've also welded worse. This wire brush is just used on aluminium, and I've got a one that's just used on stainless. I'm trying not to get any cross contamination. But basically, it's welded on there, which has got a hold. We can do some damage to that with a ball cutter, and then run some welding to it, get some penetration into it. Right, so I've got some decent tacks onto it. I use WD-40 as a cutting fluid for aluminium. It stops the cutter from blocking up and also use a little bit of candle wax or beans wax or any sort of wax. Helps you can get proper stuff from what I do like to believe. So what we're doing is we're taking some material away so we aren't just sticking a weld on top, we're actually going to penetrate right through it. Ball end cut out is ideal for this sort of sort of job.
I'm really pleased with that weld. That aluminium is excellent at weld really nicely indeed. You can see it's welded all the way around, all the way through because I've veyed out from both sides so it's 100% penetration. These are the settings I used to weld that aluminium bracket with on this Artec TIG 261. It's an easy set, AC TIG. First thing is 2.4, that's a 2.4 mil tungsten, I use them all the time. I've set the material at 6 mil thick. I've set it, it's silicon based, just say corner joint, pulses off, and I'm using the foot pedal. It's recommending 9 litres a minute gas, cup size 7, I'm using a gas lens. It's going to give me 185 amps, I can go up or down 10 amps, but I've got a foot pedal anyway, I don't think it'll need that much current. Probably weld at 130, 140 once it starts to, once it starts to pull and once you get some heat into the job. So out of the box, Use an easy set, you can weld aluminium bracketry like that. Then you've got everything else to play with once you get used to the machine. That's you can just every possible parameter, anything you want to do, you can basically do on this machine. That's a torch I use, it's a CK 20 torch, water cooled. That's a slightly different handle to the stand handle because I put a heavier power cable into it. I'm using a number six gas lens and a 2.4 blue tungsten, which I use for everything. The filler wire I use for that repair is 4043. If you do decide to buy one of these welders, in fact any product from Artec, be sure to mention my name, it certainly won't do you any harm. Anyway, thanks for watching.